This is the photograph I took many years ago. I always wanted to paint it. As you can see, there are many challenges in this painting. I'm going to show you the process in the next 35 minutes. First, we're going to think about how much we want to include into the watercolor painting, right? So we're going to divide this a vertical, how much we're going to include. I'm going to cut this part of the sky off so I'll be able to include a bit more of the land because the focal point in here is the sun. So I want to make the sun right here. Okay, so think about that, how you are going to recompose uh, the image. So I'm going to cut some off from the right side. So I'm going to include the tree coming over here like this. This looks like more beautiful. And okay, do a little think, thinking, do a little study. And on this side, I'm going to have some tree over here and off. So this is the highway and this is the direction we're going to go. We're going to ignore the car by using lifting off technique uh, to lift up the light area for the car. And this is the, the side of the road. So we still need to mark uh, the location of those cars. So this is the closest car right here. I'm going to mark a little. And don't worry about the pencil mark. We can erase the pencil after the painting drive when we totally finish it. So that's the rear mirror. And there is also there's the the bed light. I'm gonna put it over here and a couple of mark for the windows coming like that. And you can mark the, sh the shapes. And there's the wheel. Like that. The wheel on this side. Okay, cool. That's the one. And now come to this side. There's another, uh, looks like an SUV. Mm -hmm. Right here. Wow, looks good. So this one is darker than the surrounding colors. So we're going to paint it over in this car, right? So those thinking is part of your planning. So the light over here, we're going to lift that up too. So we don't need to worry about that. Leave the space. And now, and on here, there is a, I'm only going to choose one and two car. And, And the left side, we need to lift up the color or leave it. And maybe I'm going to draw the area. I decided to leave it or we're going to lift it off later on the edge over here. Probably leave it. The light's very sharp, right? So maybe. So make it. Should we do another car over here? Let's make one more car. Okay, right here. And the left side, I think I'm going to leave the light, uh, the light area on the left side because it's so sharp. So you can lift that like this. At the top, I will lift it up, lift it up using lifting technique. Okay, so it looks like the highway is uh, less uh, crowded now. So I'm going to also put the mark uh, between the links. Right, and over here, you can see that this link, you can see that I was driving on this link. And on this side, like that. You can see the perspective get bigger to smaller and smaller. But over here, everything on the, on the ground is darker, right? So in the sky, it's a little bit lighter. And I go into SG1. I'm going to put the telephone pole, light post coming up over here. Like that. Let's move the sun a little bit to the, to the right, like right here. So it's not too much close to the, uh, the light post. Okay, let's do a, one more thing about the shape. I think I like this already. 
So this kind of shape moving up and maybe a couple clouds over here in the sky. And there's a way light areas in the sky later. I think it's good enough. Let's start the painting. If you're still wondering what paints I use, the brushes, the paper that I use, you should come to visit enjoyingart.com. At the bottom of the page, you will see a link say materials and tools. Click over there, you will access to the page, see all my materials. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to ignore the cars, just paint the colors in the sky. Let's start from the top. I'm using the plus and blue, start with on the top right here. It's like a gradient uh, wash from start from the top to the bottom. By the way, the paper I'm using is a little bit different from uh, the regular uh, class demonstration. I'm using this Arches watercolor block. It's 140 pounds at the same weight as our Stratmore paper. Okay, that's now it's in the top. Now the colors start changing. So I'm going to add a little yellow color. Looks like a little bit yellow color right from here, right? Mm -hmm. You see a little yellow color changing. And now I start have a little red, right? Now add a little red color in here. There you go. And this is called also wet into wet as we have one color to the other color. You can see my paper kind of tilted. So the pink a little bit in a little bit angle, it coming down like this. Now it start a little bit more pure red now. So I'm gonna take the red color, just put it here. Now here you go. The red color, good. Now going through, coming through over here, and now the color. It's very important this step. You have to get these colors uh, wet into wet into place. So this color is darker, so I can blend it all over. Uh, the color is still wet. I'm going to get a little bit more red in here, at the bottom here, a little bit more red. See that? And this have a little bit more red. Right here. A lot more red. Okay. Now I'm going to start getting some yellow color. So almost like orange color now. Getting over here. Oh, that's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to just get the yellow color. Put it here. All right. You see how water helpful for us to blend the color together. Now, when you get into the sun, now inside the sun, there's no color. So you just have the yellow color. And just leave it like that. As good. Very good. So happy with this so far. Now, what I want to do, now I come down over here. Now, I want to do, I'm going to use my round brush. Now, I'm going to walk into the bottom over here. I'm going to have the color a little bit thicker. Just the red color. Let's see. Like this. Very thick color. Remember how, how dry the color, how much color is. I'm gonna get even more red, put it right here. Now I'm gonna start gradually have the color coming through to the side. Uh, I'm probably gonna wait a little bit. Okay, you see that the wet all accumulate at the bottom. So this is pretty wet. So when you put the color over here, it would gradually fade into the space. So what I want to do, I'm going to leave it to see how it looks like later when, this, when the water and the color settle a little bit more. Right? Okay. What I wanted to do now, I'm going to paint into the ground over here. What I want to do first, I want to start also from the center over here. It's pretty red on the on the highway. Now what I want to do, I'm going to mix the really dark colors. Pay attention to this step. It's very crucial. I'm going to take the red color, mix it 
to become a really dark color. Okay, I'm going to start from the side. Okay, I'm going to decide to leave uh, the edge like that so that shape a little bit sharper. At the top, I would do that uh, by using lifting off technique and get the color over there. Now, keep going. Okay, keep it down over here. Now, when I get closer, closer over here, it become more of the dark red color, even have a little bit yellow, not that much yellow. So I'm gonna put it this color right here like this, a little bit more red. Okay, now I'm gonna use my round brush. What I want to do, I want to paint around the left side of those light shades. Okay. Okay. And coming to this car. So the thinking process that you're more prepared and will be better off as we are. Painting will be faster and we're not gonna miss the timing. Okay, that's good on this side. And now we're gonna continue. Okay, get more red in this area. Lots of red like this because the sun like this and you want to just forget the cars okay all right get more color and we're gonna ignore this whole car we're gonna use lifting off for the details like this okay Great, we get some really dark colors in the painting already. And this is getting dry, this is great. Now I'm gonna come in here a little bit. Like that. And now what I want to do, I'm gonna take care of this color. It's an important spot, it's some light going through like that, really nice. What I want to do, I'm just gonna get the Figure in the red color, I let the co red color to get into the wet color. So this, after it is dry, it's gonna create a very interesting effect. I'm gonna see how it's gonna look like later, right? Let's forget that, I'm gonna move up to do the, uh, the top over here now, is the good timing, right? Now I'm gonna take this color, look like too much water, so I'm gonna to go some of the water first. And this is good color. Now I'm gonna go in through over here. Here we go. Like this. Going through and going through the tree. And the same thing, the same color on this side. And the bottom over here, maybe just add a little yellow color. A little bit yellow color, right here. So the color actually will get in to that. Make it a little lighter. Okay. Let it merge together. Okay, that's good. Make the shininess feeling. Now, okay, let's continue. I'm gonna go into the tree right here. Okay, good. Still a little wet, so I have a little soft feeling. Maybe get a little yellow, half a bit yellow kind of feeling over here. Like that's good. 
yeah, we can let go of that. Okay, everything looks good. And over here, I'm gonna use this similar color. Now what I want to do, now I'm gonna go into to create some dry brushes but with really wet colors, okay? Very dark colors. Okay, this take this color. And that's good. A very dry brush. See that? It's good. A little bit over here. And come here. Have a little bit on this side. And also use the side of the brush. Like that. Good suggestion. Okay, look at the, the, the ground. Looks very interesting. I like it. And now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit clean up over here, not the clean up, lifting up the little color for the top of the highway. Lift that a little bit. And also this color in here have a little bit yellow. So I'm just take a little bit yellow, fill it in a little bit over here. Ooh, see that? Instantly make it so bright. Looks good. And we can fix a little bit around the sun later, okay? So what we're gonna do now, um, and that the ground looks good. And what I want to do to prevent that the color running back to the dry area, I need to do a little taking away the excess accumulated color okay it just let that off that's a very important that you don't want the the wet is going to return back to the top of the painting okay now we don't see any car right now and we're not ready to to do any of those details yet so I'm going to do a little bit uh, to the subtle things uh, on the side of the highway, like this would be uh, the showing the distance. All right, make this a little darker. This is that's the road side. Okay, good. Make that a little bit subtle changes. That's the highway. This is the side, like that. Make a little dark color in here too. So we're gonna see how those colors gonna merge together. And we're gonna see what we're gonna do. Okay, on this side, this is good. Little, little blur, but over here, we don't want to decide, define the side of the highway, like that. All right, now what, we, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna lift up a little color on the, the lane dividing lines. Okay, let's see. That, easy. On this side, you see, where is it? Right here. That's good. Right, how easy? I'm gonna over here. A little bit. Oh, uh, we don't have to give it that much. A little bit over here. This the side. We want to have a little bit blue color come in, come in over here. A little blue colors. Like this, good. This is not white, so I have a little blue color, and I will come to here to try to lift up the color. And uh, this color is still kind of wet, so it's good. So pretty easy to lift up. Now it's the top of the car. Now let's see, the top of the car. Okay, now see the, the left side. Like that. 
because we don't really see it so clearly. That's good. Now we have from this, come and have this color continue to this side over here. I think this color light enough. And we come to, there is a tail light. I'm gonna lift up that a little, make it a little lighter before you can put the red color in. Okay, now I come to see on this side, the tail light. It's very easy to lift up the color. Now here it goes. Okay, this one. How about that? A little bit over here, open a little bit more. Okay, a little bit on the top. That's good, enough contrast. And the side over here have a little tail light. And also going to lift up a little bit, but the tail light is not, not really that light. That's good. Now I'm gonna to come to this car and to set the top and lift up a little color. Just making sure your brush is dry and use your finger, squeeze all the wet off and that will be good. And now let's do this one. Interesting. I think I lift something by mistake. After that color, not supposed to be there. So I'm gonna cover that up. That's good. Right. Cool. So what we're gonna do now, now we'll come in here to this car first. I'm gonna get, uh, this is a good color, dark blue purple color. Now let's see. I'm gonna put this color right in here. Okay, and then in the back, have a little dark color here too, like this. And we can see that a little indication for the side of the car. And then the back and the bottom of the car. And we have showing the tie, the rear tie and coming like this. It's gonna show it's a car. Okay, over here too. Right, almost there. And on the mirror, one, two, showing the frame. Like that. I think the the rear window can go a little bit more to the left. Okay. That indication a little bit in the middle over here. And the tire on this side, you can see a little. That's great. And a little bit indication over here at the front. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little red color A little red. That's why you cannot put just the red on the top of the dark color. You have to let go the dark color in order to put the light color in, which is considered the red color here. It is, it's lighter color, right? So you need to light it up a little bit. That's good, we fixed this car already. Now we're gonna work on this car. All right. Any color put it on the dark color with the translucent effect, it always look darker. So I'm gonna see, right here, I'm gonna put this car. Right here. Like that. Good. Now I'm gonna leave. Let's see. See a little bit on the highway, the wheel. Like that, 
good now I'm gonna see the left side right here and then we can see the tail light we don't have to do anything for the tail light because we just use the color already on here that and we can see a little bit of the rear wheel mirror that we got this car by adding a darker color now over here on the side that's pretty cool we're almost there over here we can see that okay we string a little bit so the top the roof of the car is a little bit uh, a little bit less okay now add the little bit red and the present blue to make it looks really dark I want to be a little bit colder so a little bit more blue color now we come to this color this color bit closer to us so we can see a little bit clear right so that's good we're going to leave this little shade for the tail light okay now see I'm gonna make this shape over here because that is against to the Sun so this uh, the back over here is pretty dark in the morning okay like this okay a little wheel at the front over here now what we're gonna do we're gonna make this side a little bit warm color because it's kind of reflected from the sun so you can see a little bit like that that is fine now we're gonna have a little warm color as the reflection to the sun and now I'm gonna also add a little red color for the tail light A little bit warm on the sun side like that that's good uh, we do want to add a little bit red like it over here the tail light now the car is already on the road looks great do you know what we're gonna do one more wash for the sky and for here I think this looks good just the top over there so start from the sky first I get a little bit uh, pleasant blue a uh, very very light let's see I'm gonna do another layer okay here you go going through over here I'm gonna leave a little areas to make it like the cloud leave a little bit and then going through over here look closely and I want this to be look like a little bit of cloud in here here we go like that but down here But down here is not so much blue so I'm gonna add a little red just see the red color and blend into this color and lead it down like this we don't want to get the colors too uh, too dirty I want to have this color a little bit more clean and skip my coming down now is this color coming down over here now you see how much the cloud standing out maybe a little bit too much you know now what I want to do on the edge over here I want to lift up a little color so I have a little bit softer we talk about how the pink clouds and it's not easy if you think about clouds you just think about lighter shape uh, think about the edge and that is easier it's okay there we go a little bit softer now we just finish this guy 
and a little bit lip up on this side. Okay, good. All right, and over here maybe a little bit too sharp, so I'm gonna remove that a little sharp color. That's good. Now we're going to come down to the lower part. Now here's go. Uh, let's fix the sun first. I'm gonna make the edge of the sun a little bit softer. Okay, make sure your brush is clean, the water is clean when you do this. And we're gonna erase the, the pencil, it will look better. Now at the bottom over here, we wanna soften that, we can fill in a little bit of yellow color. That. I'm gonna fill it in. Now get a little clean yellow color. Like that. Okay, that's good. This color. Now the sun here. Now the highway over here. I want to do a one more round. Uh, wash with the dark color and then we'll be clear everything out in the order uh, in everything in the right grouping so on this I actually have more have more blue colors so what I want to do on here now take a look at those highway dividing line actually now I can make it a lot clearer Maybe too clear. Yeah, like that. Now I want to just use the the clean water. It just blend the color over. Okay, that's good. Right? Okay, now what I want to do is go through that, have some kind of shadow look. Like that. that that's good now on this side also wash it so make the row a little bit more organized that's good okay, on this side okay even put into the the background tree Over here too, can get a little bit over the background tree right here. And this is a little bit too much, so I'm gonna have a little color and get into the area. That's a little bit too. Okay, just like that. That'll be good enough. Okay, if we want to add that, um, the light post, now we can do that. Start from uh, orange color, this is pretty quick. Now, get this orange color from the bottom. Let's do, just do one. Okay, start over here. And get the red color. And gradually, it's going up. Coming down like this. And the top can be a little bit darker. A little bit blue. Right here. So a bit away from the sun. So the edge over here, we don't have to make it really clear. It's just a little bit a little bit indication. That is good. So we can do a little bit, maybe a little bit, for the distance. Like that. And then the clouds, that's really cloud, little cloud. 
a little cloud. Let's do a little cloud in the sky like this. Maybe a little bit on the other side too. And that's good. So the painting is finished. What do you think?